Hi everyone! This is Haley from Cruise Blog. Today we're going to be talking about 15 things that I loved and hated about Norwegian Cruise Line's newest ship, the Norwegian Viva. Let's get started. I recently returned from my first time sailing on board Norwegian Cruise Line's newest and grandest ship, the Norwegian Viva, during one of its first sailings departing from the United States. From the indulged food hall to the tiny pool deck, we were able to assess some of our favorite and least favorite things about this brand new ship during a four-night cruise. First up, something we liked, beautiful designs and aesthetics. Perhaps one of the first things I noticed about Norwegian Viva was how beautiful this ship really is. The overall design elements of this ship have a modern feel. Light colors and touches of minimal Scandinavian design can be seen throughout this newest ship in the Norwegian Cruise Line fleet. It was very interesting to see how Norwegian Viva's design and aesthetics were different from those of the other ships in the fleet. Norwegian Viva has a completely different design from the other newer ships in the fleet, such as the Norwegian Bliss or the Norwegian Encore. While both of these ships also feel modern, there are usually darker wood tones present, which is similar to the aesthetic of older ships in the Norwegian Cruise Line fleet. For those who have cruised on board other Norwegian Cruise Line ships, Norwegian Viva is nearly unrecognizable, in a good way. The Prima class ships are completely different in design compared to older Norwegian ships. I appreciate that Norwegian Cruise Line seems to have gone the extra nautical mile when it comes to the design of its newest ships. This shows Norwegian Cruise Line's commitment to continuous innovation of its ships going into the future. Next up, something we disliked. Very small pool. One of my biggest dislikes about Norwegian Viva was how small the main pool area is. It's truly tiny when compared to other pool decks on other ships in the Norwegian fleet. The pool deck seemed a bit inadequate in its small size, due to it not being able to fit very many people. I was surprised to see how few people could be accommodated near the main pool because of its significantly small size. There were much fewer deck lounge chairs, and the pool bar was nearly always packed with people looking for refreshment. The small size of the pool means that not many guests can enjoy the pool at the same time, and it often felt very crowded. Some of the upper pool decks felt slightly less crowded, such as near the area next to the wave water slide. Also near the wave water slide area was the kids' aqua park. While it is smaller than some of the aqua parks on board other Norwegian cruise line ships, it is still an area for little ones to enjoy some fun in the sun during a cruise. While the main pool might be quite small, there are two other pools on deck eight called the infinity beach areas. On either side of the ship, these two infinity pools are also small, but still offer a great place for guests to relax in a comfortable lounge chair and take in some beautiful ocean views. I do appreciate that Norwegian Cruise Line added these two infinity beach areas as they had more of a relaxed atmosphere than the main pool deck itself. Plus, each features an infinity pool. I recommend grabbing a lounge chair early in the day as both infinity beach areas fill up rather quickly throughout the afternoon. Next up, something we liked, the Indulge Food Hall. Perhaps one of my absolute favorite dining venues on board a cruise ship is the Indulge Food Hall on board the Norwegian Viva. The Indulge Food Hall is a brand new dining venue and experience on board Norwegian Prima's class ships. This means that this dining venue can be found on board both Norwegian Prima and Norwegian Viva. From India to Italy, Latin America, salads, burgers, and more, the Indulge Food Hall has options from around the world to choose from. During our four-day sailing, we were able to eat at the Indulge Food Hall several times, and I can confidently say that every guest on board will be able to find something they enjoy. There is so much to choose from, and no passenger will be disappointed leaving this dining space. One of my favorite aspects of this dining venue is the innovation that has gone into it. Upon entering, guests can choose to sit anywhere they like, whether it be outside or inside. There are many beautiful and comfortable spaces to choose from. After selecting a table, guests will use a tablet on the table to choose from a very large menu of food and drinks. Passengers will find all sorts of food and cuisine to select, ranging from healthy to more indulgent options. There is so much good food at the Indulge Food Hall that we even chose to eat here for dinner one night rather than one of the main dining restaurants. Some of my favorite dishes were the Indian cuisine. In fact, I often rave about the Indian food on board Norwegian Cruise Line's newer ships, and Norwegian Viva is no different. I am still dreaming about that chicken tikka masala at Norwegian Viva's Indulge Food Hall. Next up, something we disliked, only one Broadway show. When first researching for our trip on the Norwegian Viva, I was rather surprised to find that there is currently just one Broadway-style show on board, 
because some of the other ships in the fleet have two on board. Norwegian Bliss, for instance, allows guests to catch showings of the shows Six and Jersey Boys. With the Norwegian Viva being the newest and latest and greatest from the Norwegian, I thought that there might be two Broadway-style production shows on board. The only Broadway-style show on board Norwegian Viva currently is Beetlejuice the Musical. Despite this being the singular Broadway-style musical on ship, it was an excellent show that was quite fun. I recommend that all passengers watch this show at least once. Next up, something we liked, creative theater and dance space. Something that I appreciated about Norwegian Viva was its commitment to bringing new and exciting things on board for guests to explore and experience. Whether you are a frequent NCL cruiser or are boarding your very first Norwegian ship, there's so much for guests to see on board Norwegian Viva. One of these innovations is the Viva Theater and Club. This impressive venue can change from the main three-story theater space into a lively dance club in just 20 minutes. As the first ever venue of its kind, this space was interesting to see and experience. Guests can even watch the theater transform into a dance club during their cruise. Guests on board Norwegian Viva will find many of the classic NCL dance parties located in the Viva Theater and Club. Next up, something we disliked, smaller buffet. When it comes to the main buffet, I was surprised at the size, as it was quite a bit smaller than the main buffets on board ships such as the Norwegian Bliss and Norwegian Encore, which happens to be two of the largest ships in the fleet. While the buffet is smaller in size on board Norwegian Viva, it does still have a lot of great options for guests to choose from. When reflecting about why it might be smaller, guests should remember that there's also the indulged food hall on board the Norwegian Viva, which features many of the great food items that can be found in the buffets on other ships, just delivered in a more innovative and efficient way. Some guests might be disappointed by the smaller buffet on board the Norwegian Viva. However, we choose to see the differences as a pro for the Norwegian Viva because of the presence of the indulged food hall. The buffet might be small on board the Prima class ships, but it does still have many of the favorites that cruisers of Norwegian Cruise Line have become accustomed to. Next up, something we liked, new and fun slides. Along the themes of innovation that can be found on board Norwegian Viva, guests will be excited to find some brand new slides. The drop and the rush are slides that can only be found on board Norwegian Prima and Norwegian Viva. These dry slides are another fun activity for guests of nearly every age to experience on board. No water or swimsuits required. The dry slides are located on deck 18. Personally, I thought that the rush was a bit more fun than the drop. It seemed that after the free fall, the drop slide was rather slow in speed. When watching other guests experience the drop, it appeared that many started to slow down about halfway through. While it might not be the case for every cruise sailing, I appreciated that the lines for the dry slides were relatively short during our cruise. I did expect there to be longer lines, but we found that there weren't any lines on our sea day. We also were able to test out the wave water slide during our voyage. Similar to the drop and the rush, we experienced very little to no wait times for this water slide. This water slide is also very fun, and I recommend that all guests give it a try. The wave is not too intense, and I think it is a suitable water slide for guests looking for a bit of a thrill without being too scared. Next up, something we disliked, lots of onboard shopping. If you are in the mood to do some duty-free shopping while on your cruise, you won't find a shortage of stores on board Norwegian Viva. Personally, however, I felt that too much space was taken up on board by the shops. I noticed many of the shops seemed similar and only sold items with large price tags, such as expensive jewelry and watches. Again, some guests may appreciate this amenity, but I would have appreciated an additional onboard activity or exciting amenity for guests to explore instead. Having some shops on board can be fun, such as the shop that features Norwegian Cruise Line merchandise or Norwegian Viva merchandise, but the presence of large shops featuring expensive items like jewelry nearly always seemed to be empty with no shoppers present during our cruise. Next up, something we liked, comfortable and modern staterooms. My inside stateroom on board Norwegian Viva might be the most luxurious standard cabin I've ever stayed in. I appreciated modern amenities such as the presence of USB-C outlets, lots of storage, and a spacious bathroom. In fact, the unsweet bathroom was perhaps one of my favorite parts of this stateroom. The glass door to the shower coupled with the large shower itself set the stateroom bathroom apart from other interior rooms that I've stayed in previously. We also found that the beds were comfortable and provided a great place to get a good night's sleep or nap during the day. Plus, we got to test out the Pullman bed. Even with three people in the cabin, we felt as though we had more than enough space to unpack and spread out. Next up, something we disliked, game show as main entertainment. One of the main entertainment shows during our cruise was the Press Your Luck Live game show. These type of game show entertainment can be quite fun and entertaining. 
After all, the Deal or No Deal show can be very popular on board other Norwegian cruise line ships. However, on other Norwegian cruise line sailings that I've been on before, the game shows are usually conducted in the main atrium during the middle of the day. For this reason, I was somewhat surprised to discover that one evening of our cruise, Press Your Luck Live was the main entertainment for the evening in the theater. This show was rather funny, and we had a great time laughing along with other guests. However, I personally would have rather seen another Broadway-style show or music show instead of a game show. Again, this all comes down to personal preference. Next up, something we liked, nightlife entertainment. Compared to other ships in the fleet, the nightlife entertainment on board Norwegian Viva was unique and offered an experience that I had never before seen. First, the Icons concert, which was a concert experience that featured songs written over the last six decades, was a fun show that featured some exceedingly talented performers. Additionally, one of my favorite nightlife entertainment performances on board was at Sid Norman's Poor House. One night of our sailing, this venue was transformed into a speakeasy environment. This was a fun environment where talented crew members could perform in a relaxed setting for onlooking guests. Personally, I had not seen anything like this offered on board other Norwegian cruise line ships. Next up, something we disliked, no glow party. Themed parties on NCL ships are often a looked forward to event. From the Caribbean to Northern Europe, these themed parties are usually conducted on nearly every itinerary and cruise ship in the Norwegian cruise line fleet and are often expected from guests. I was rather disappointed to find that during our four night sailing on Norwegian Viva, there was no glow party. The Glow Party is one of Norwegian Cruise Line's most iconic themed parties, and many guests pack clothes and items specifically for this night on board. Usually the Glow Parties feature pop dance tunes, black lights, and allow guests themselves to light up, and glow sticks or other fun party items are passed out to the guests by crew. These Glow Parties are oftentimes a lot of fun. Therefore, I was a bit disappointed to find no Glow Party during our particular sailing on board Norwegian Cruise Line's newest ship. Next up, something we liked. Lots of outdoor areas. One of the best things about Norwegian Viva is the large amount of outdoor areas present on the ship. From Ocean Boulevard to Vibe Beach Club, the Viva Speedway, and Tea Time Golf Course, there is so much outdoor space for guests to explore on board the Norwegian Viva. Whether it's space to relax or to participate in a fun activity, there's more than enough outdoor space for every desire. The copious amounts of lounge space on Deck 8 gives guests the space to unwind during a relaxing cruise day. Alternatively, the activities near the Viva Speedway and Tea Time Mini Golf allow passengers to make some family memories during a sea day or after returning to the ship after a fun day ashore. Because there is so much great outdoor space on board Norwegian Viva, guests sailing in colder weather should pack a good jacket or even a blanket. Since these areas are pretty and a great way to enjoy some stunning ocean views, appropriate cold weather clothing may be required to enjoy these spaces fully. Ocean Boulevard features some great spots to relax, take in a drink at an outdoor bar, or even experience the thrilling Ocean Walk glass floor area. Make sure to stop by Ocean Boulevard during sunset and sunrise for some beautiful views during your cruise. This area also makes for the perfect spot for a great photo from your cruise vacation on Norwegian Viva. Next up, something we liked, main dining restaurants. There are five complimentary dining venues on board Norwegian Viva, not including the Haven restaurant, which is exclusive for Haven guests. This is a great amount for guests to choose from, and the main dining restaurants offer a wonderful dining experience. The two main dining restaurants on board Norwegian Viva are called Hudson's and the Commodore Room. Both these restaurants resemble fine dining restaurants, with Hudson's feeling more light and airy. The large windows offered beautiful ocean views, while the Commodore Room is a little more intimate, with darker colored decor and smaller tables throughout. In addition to the overall atmosphere, we enjoyed dining at both main dining restaurants on board and would recommend both to future guests of Norwegian Viva. Next up, something we liked, beautiful gym and spa areas. Working out on a vacation might not be for everyone, but for those guests looking to burn off some calories or work up a sweat, Norwegian Viva has a well-stocked and beautiful new gym for passengers to use during their cruise. Located on deck 16, guests will find the gym and spa. During our first day on board, we were able to take a complimentary tour of the spa and fitness facilities, and this was a great way to see everything these spaces have to offer. For those looking to get some fitness in during their sailing, Norwegian Viva has more than the standard treadmills and ellipticals. There are spin classes, yoga classes, personal trainer sessions, and so much more for guests to try out during their cruise. When it comes to the spa, we were especially interested in the thermal suite, 
and the beautiful spaces inside. For those looking for the latest and greatest in spa treatments, Norwegian Viva Spa has more than enough for guests to choose from. Overall, Norwegian Viva quickly ascended to one of my favorite Norwegian cruise line ships as there's so much to do and explore on board. Our four-night itinerary felt rather rushed and we could have easily had a couple more days to see and do everything on board. I appreciate that Norwegian Cruise Line has brought some new and exciting things on board Norwegian Viva, while at the same time sticking to their classic NCL style. Fans of Norwegian will be impressed with everything Norwegian Viva has to offer. Those researching for their first ever NCL cruise will surely love everything on board. Note that these are just some of my personal thoughts and opinions about my first sailing on board Norwegian Viva. You may come to a different conclusion and that's okay. Cruising is not a one size fits all experience. And so that concludes our thoughts on 15 things I loved and hated about Norwegian Cruise Line's newest ship, the Norwegian Viva. We sincerely hoped that you enjoyed this video and that you would also consider liking, subscribing, and make sure to ring that bell for future notifications. Until next time, happy cruising.